Greetings, I'm Mark Paul Smith. I'm here to introduce my book, The Hitchhike, published by BQB Publishing. In 1972, I was an officer in the United States Air Force. They gave me eight months leave after graduating from college before I had to go to jet pilot training school. I had what they used to call the right stuff. But I was conflicted about dropping bombs on Vietnam and Southeast Asia and killing people for reasons that really didn't seem to make much sense. So I used that eight-month leave to hitchhike from Indiana to India. I hitchhiked through the Iron Curtain. I hitchhiked over the Khyber Pass. But at one point, I was working on a collective farm and a work-study program in Hungary. And while there... I met a group of students from North Vietnam. The tragic tale of one of those students became the crystallizing moment in my decision to sue the United States for peace. Here is that moment from the book. Listen to just one story, the interpreter said as she brought forward one of the men who was obviously quite reluctant to be singled out. It took some time for him to begin, but once he did, he told a powerful and unforgettable account of how his fiancée had been killed in a U.S. airstrike on Hanoi. She died while working as a nurse in a civilian hospital. The man began crying halfway through his narrative. He made wild, hand-waving gestures, describing the terror and panic of being attacked by the screaming thunder of jet planes. He sobbed as he demonstrated digging through hospital rubble to find his girlfriend mangled and mauled by the unthinkable power of a missile attack. His sobs turned to shrieks as he imitated the nightmarish sounds of the jets and their reign of death. One of the women tried to comfort him, but he pushed her away. He jumped to his feet and stood in front of me, clenching his fists and wailing at the sky. Hannah clung to me as I positioned myself for a possible attack. The interpreter rose to grab her grief-raging comrade by the shoulders. Instead of pushing her away, the grieving man collapsed in a pile of sorrow at my feet, his head touching my knee. The wind shifted and the fountain blasted us with a spray. We were all in such shock, nobody noticed a drop. The Vietnamese student raised his head to look at me. His face was a portrait of pain I could never forget. Tears ran down his cheeks, snot ran out his nose, a pathetic moan trembled his lips, and his eyes begged for compassion, if not understanding. He was sobbing and shaking his head in futile denial. He could see my tears welling as I helped him up by the shoulders and hugged him without saying a word. He held me so tightly I could feel his anguish. His thin arms shook as he squeezed me as hard as he could, not in anger, but in pain. As he sobbed into my chest, I looked around the group. The fountain changed from red to green. Sorrowful faces changed color with the light on the water. I buried my face on his shoulder and cried softly. Oh God, oh God, I'm so sorry. And that is when I decided to quit the United States Air Force. I wrote this book hoping that the lessons we should have learned in Vietnam will not be forgotten and perhaps could be applied to the wars we find ourselves in now. Senseless wars, one and all. The book, The Hitchhike, is a plea for peace, pure and simple. Thank you.